Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm John Shumway. The hot weather did indeed bring that orange air quality action day in effect not only today but continuing right through tomorrow as well. And it means that young children, the elderly and those with respiratory illnesses like asthma, emphysema and bronchitis could face problems. It can trigger their symptoms and so they may notice that they're wheezing a little bit more. They may notice that it's a little bit hard for them to take deep full breaths. Uh, a lot of times, you know, the particulate matter in the air could be a trigger for some people and they may find that they're using their rescue inhalers more often on weather condition days like this. So the best advice is to do what? The best advice is actually to start, try to stay inside during the hottest part of the day. Um, you actually want to, uh, if you can stay in air conditioner, um, air conditioned rooms, you should stay there. If not, if you are going to be outside, try to limit how long you're going to be outside. And really the best time to be outside doing anything such as mowing lawn, uh, working in the yard, anything like that is actually in the evenings as everything starts to cool down. Um, as the air cools down, it gets actually the quality goes up a little bit. Yeah, and the state health department is encouraging all of us to help take steps like setting the air conditioning just a little bit higher, combine errands to reduce the number of trips you're making in the car, limit engine idling and refuel after dusk.